let's minimize this. Uh, let's open up this, and we are going to go to. I've got that in test scans, and we are going to find this bitmap. This is an earlier one I did. Well, I'll just show you. This is kind of a um, the real ATAX camo. It's not very good because I didn't spend much time on it, but that's kind of what the real ATAX camo would look like. Uh, we're going to pull our other one into it. <clears throat> Boom, there we go. This is the camo pattern. We've got it in DXT BMP. We're going to open uh, File, Save As, DDS Texture, um, and I'm fine with that file name in this location. So I'm going to go down here, and I think you can use uh, three or five, the DXT three or five. I always use five. Save it. It's going to take a while. It's uh, creating MIP maps, I believe, and uh, just basically. Uh, changing it, converting it into a DDS texture so that our game can see the file. Okay, that's done. Uh, we are going to now go into uh, this. And we're going to go into DDS. Where did I save it? Uh, here we go. Sorry. And this was the DDS we wanted. If if in doubt, just check the bitmap and see which one it is. Uh, okay, so we're going to copy that, and we are going to go into DCS World. Now, here's where it gets a little bit... Um, you can do this several different ways. The way I've been doing it is going into Bizarre Temp Textures and saving my file in here. Um, however, uh, probably an easier way to do it is to go into Liveries, A10C, and then pick whatever folder you want like here's uh, here's my skin and my friend's skin that I made the multicam skins I'll go into test and I'm going to paste it in here and when you open up this description you have all the file names the 12 file names that you want to use and these uh, deal with the um, the numbers on the the, the uh, board numbers and I usually set these to empty and just make my uh, my airplane and uh, use the textures that I've created to to do the board numbers. They're static board numbers, so uh, this basically tells the game not to use the uh, dynamic board numbers in game. And the reason I do that is because. Um, uh, I think that this will work. The reason I do that is because the board numbers in game it only changes the last two numbers. Now up here, if it says true, it's going to look in that test uh, t uh, test textures file for all of the textures. Okay, and um, if uh, if it says false, it's going to look in the liveries folder. Now there's a way you can set up set this up to look in other. Um, uh, other f other folders like a zip file but I'm I haven't really figured out how to do that and for my purposes it works fine the way it is I'm gonna save that it actually let me save it that's cool I want to open it up to make sure that it did it right oh except that this is the wrong file name there we go make sure you get those file names right if you don't it's not gonna look right Okay, this is going to be a really funny looking plane when we get into DCS, but I'll, I'll start up DCS and uh, show you what's up. Okay, here we are in the plane. So I don't have my track IR on right now, so we're just going to look around. See, here's my goofy plane that I, uh, or my goofy textures that I was doing to try to figure out where everything is on the plane. And just like I hoped, this one over here has some missing textures. So if you uh, have your textures in the wrong place or you don't label them correctly in the LUA uh, text document, that's the way it's going to look. If you misname them or you don't locate, don't have them in the right location, they're going to wind up looking like that. If you see that, it's probably just a problem with where you've put them or how you've named them or something. 
that's the frustrating part. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can go to the outside of this baby. Alright, so. There we have our sky blue gray ATAX pattern. It actually doesn't look as good as what I'd hoped, but maybe if the rest of the plane was colored appropriately, that would be pretty cool. Okay, one last thing that I wanted to show, I think, for this is um, I'm, I'm going to upload this to the user files <coughs> on the Eagle Dynamics forums, but this one's not complete. Um, but uh, when I get these done, I'm going to upload them and it will literally be just a transparent layer with these outlines and words on them that show where different things are on the texture files because it can be quite confusing. And um, I'm not going to even come close to labeling everything because some of this stuff, I don't even know where it goes. I'm assuming that this goes on maybe the vertical stabilizer, maybe on the side of the fuselage, the top of the fuselage, who knows. Like these things, they go on the bottom of the fuselage. And I know that, but I'm not going to label them uh, just because uh, they are a layer of their own and they should probably be left alone. Not in this, not in this file. This is a user file that I bought, uh, that I downloaded and for some reason I just started putting these things on there. In fact, it's uh, the GA Bica Winter Camouflage. Uh, it's pretty cool camouflage, but I just downloaded it to kind of check it out and see what all the different uh, things were on the plane. But I'm going to hopefully upload that, and that might or might not help some people um, uh, do some skinning on their own a little bit easier without having to fight through it the way I did. Uh, and like you saw, I did it by creating all these weird patterns all over the plane and then going into... Uh, DCS and taking screenshots walking around the plane trying to figure out where everything was and I figured out all of it that really mattered to me and uh, everything else uh, I'm not all that worried about I would say that if it's something like a uh, really dark section um, it doesn't really matter or if it's already got a layer that's gray or um, or a solid color or obviously something that is a specific part down here we've got some very specific parts that have some uh, colors and some patterns and things to them and some solid colors. Uh, I would leave those alone. I, I really would. I would not mess with those at all because they are probably very specific parts that are already looking the way they need to look. That's just me. Okay, I think that's about it. So, uh, thanks and good luck. Pull up, pull up.
Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. 